very important topic properties in case of dot product so there are various properties i have enlisted them mainly six properties will be useful in solving the questions the first one is very important and very popular that is commutativity you already know what is commutativity so if you have a and b as two vectors so vector scalar product is commutative that means a dot b is equal to b dot a so that is meant by commutativity property why because the first means ab cos theta the second means ba cos theta and you know ab is equal to ba that means 2 into 3 is equal to 3 into 2 so that is commutativity we had covered let's put a tick mark next is distributivity now distributivity can be termed as left distributivity or right distributivity so left distributivity is the first case right distributivity is the second case very easy a vector dot b plus c vector that means you can separate it as a vector dot b vector as you do in algebra and then plus a vector dot c vector how difficult is it nothing is difficult in it right next is the right distributivity again b vector dot a vector plus c vector dot a vector third case third case says if you have two non zero vectors that means neither a is zero nor b is zero then also you have been given the result as zero so what should be the case so since we have covered second i'm putting a tick mark that means a is perpendicular to b how is it that possible a dot b is zero means a b cos theta is zero now already given to you is that a and b should not be zero so these are non zero that means cos theta is zero cos theta is zero means theta is equal to 90 degree hence perpendicular so this is also very clear i suppose next case is regarding m being a scalar this you have already done the previous things like if m is a scalar and there is a scalar product so either you can take first m with a and then you can treat the other things or you can first take m with b similarly if there are two scalars what will happen that you can do on your own so let us put a tick mark on this please do not panic you can always write it on a chart paper paste it and memorize it from that now a vector multiplied by negative of b vector so that means only one negative is there so the result will be negative so you can take minus outside and then take the scalar product or you can take minus sign earlier it was with b now you can take with a so it is up to you and what if both are negative then the result will be positive so next case is regarding the identities you know what is a plus b whole square you know what is a minus b whole square you know what is a plus b multiplied by a minus b these three identities are written over here mod of a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab where ab should be in a dot product means here cos theta will come upon opening if minus is there this will remain plus here it will be minus 2a dot b and last is mod of a plus b multiply sorry vector a plus b multiply by vector a minus b which is a square minus b square means mod a square minus mod b square so these are all the properties definitely in one question all the properties will not apply but we should memorize them in order to understand things better